تبين لهم أنه الحق الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى ودين الحق لذراء دين كله وكفى بالله الشهيد وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد The heart contains disease and some of the disease which the heart harbors brings problem to that body there's two types of heart disease which i'm going to talk but i'm going to elaborate more on one one is the cutting ties of kinship this is the disease from the heart and it's a great disease it's not good the individual will suffer in this life and the here after my main subject is this one the envy the jealousy and the hasad the hasad is the disease from the heart and when the heart harbors this disease strongly it brings problem it eats the individual the individual destroys himself while he is not aware of it linguistically hasad is an ill hatred heart angered with stems of hatred this is the disease of the heart which is hasad hasad is been documented in the quran fully and the hadith and the sunan muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the one who envy the one who harbors jealousy in his heart it will eat his deed just like fire eats in the wood that is the level of hasad the individual who have hasad he doesn't know for example he prays but his deeds are being chopped slowly by his hasad inside him this is the level of hasad hasad is a disease where destroys the individual the individual burns inside because of the blessing you receive or the blessings you have today in social media you will never see any platform a person owns another person dislikes it the person dislikes it is full of hasad let me tell you a story of hasad is the time of the khalifa al abbasi amir al mu'min mu'tasim fell in love with one brother one muslim guy who used to come and the muslim guy had the ability and the chance amir al gave him that he can go inside the palace and walk around inside the palace without no problem at all and he had no position in the government of mu'tasim back then while he's doing that guy one of the ministers of mu'tasim harbored hatred and slowly slowly hasad build and build and build until he captured his heart fully and he started plotting he plotted and he executed his plan he plotted to cook food full of garlic and he invited that miskin the guy who just goes inside the palace and enjoys and eats and sit with amirul mu'minin he invited in his house dinner time and he went and he ate and ate and when he finished he says my friend this food contains a lot of garlic now amirul mu'minin mu'tasim doesn't like the smell of garlic so when you go to him hold your mouth and your nose so that he doesn't smell the minister goes to amirul mu'minin and say ya amirul mu'min this guy hates the smell of your mouth after sometimes when they finish the guy went to the palace and he sit right in the corner and a mu'tasim saw him and called him come so and so when he approached amirul mu'minin amirul mu'minin start talking to him the guy hold the mouth and the nose and replying back amirul mu'minin start shaking his head and say oh what my minister told me is absolutely true this guy hates the smell of my mouth and he wrote a letter and gave it to him and told him take this letter take it to so and so place while he is going out the minister was outside the doorway in for him and he said where are you going he said amirul mu'minin give me this letter to go and so and so place the minister thought that this guy was given houses and given wealth by amirul mu'minin and he told me give me that letter i'll take it for you and i'll give you 2000 dinar and the guy hesitated but in the end agreed and took 2000 and the guy went to the place where to deliver the letter the person who received the letter read chop his head off and he told the minister 
lift your head up. When he lifted his head up, he chopped his head. After some time, the guy returned back to, to the palace. Amirul Mu'min saw him and said, Woo, what happened to you? Why are you back? He says, I did not deliver the letter. The minister took the letter from me. And then they start exchanging stories and they found out the minister was full of envy. Envy leads you to this. Envy is very bad. Hasad is very, very bad. Allah documented it in the Quran. Allah Rabbul Iza says in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, لَأَقْتُلَنَّكَ this is a statement in the Quran and this statement will remain until where there is no writing of the Quran anymore in the world. This statement was from Qabil when he told his brother, لَأَقْتُلَنَكْ I will kill you. Why did he say that? He said that because his heart harbored envy. Full! He was envying his brother. Why? Because his brother's charity was accepted by Allah. His did not. This reason took him all the way and killed his own brother. Another example is Yaqub alayhi salam. His sons envied one of their own young brother, very young brother, Yusuf alayhi salam. What did they say? They say, our father loved our brother more than us. So when we kill him or terminate him, our father will love us more. And they planned and executed their plan. Why? is all hasad. Hasad is dangerous. Hasad will lead the one to commit grave, grave mistakes because of hasad. Because he will never have control of himself because of the hasad which harbors in his heart. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. وَإِن تُصِيبُكُمْ سَيِّئَاتٌ يَفْرَحُونَ بِهَا When any calamity befalls you, they will love it. Who are these? The people who envy you, the people who are full of hasad. How to distinguish between a hasid and a known person? A hasid, whenever he sees something, he will never supplicate for you. He will say, wow, or he will just utter some random word. This is a hasid. You either need to supplicate to him and force him to supplicate for you, or you need to cut him off and stay away from him. Because a good person who is upright, Muslim, he will supplicate for you. He will say, MashaAllah, Allahumma barik, barak Allah. This is a good person. A hasid will do the other way around. And hasid will bring disease. Imam Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimallah, says, magic and hasid, hasid is up. Why? He says, magician, his work doesn't work without a devil. But a hasid doesn't know his hasid is accompanied by a devil. Because one hasid, if his hasid is strong, his hasid is accompanied by a devil. Imagine having five people or ten people giving you hasid. You will find out five devil or six devil or ten devil coming after you. One give you hassle of your eyes. One give you hassle of your glasses. One give you hassle of your hair. One give you hassle of the way you walk. One give you hassle of your car. One give you hassle of your house. Devil will approach and start causing harm to these things. One give you hassle of your children. Your children will be approached by devil. This is the level of the hasid. Because a hasid doesn't know that his hasid is accompanied by the devil. And the magician, what happens is his work does not work until he chant and chant and sacrifice. Then the devil will work for him. As for hasid, he doesn't need to do all these sacrifices. The devil is there, ready to work for him. And the hasid is the one who goes to the magician when the person is filled with hasad. Like Allah Rabbul Izzah says in the Quran, وَمِن شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ From the evil envier who envies. Allah has warned us in the Quran. So hasad is bad. Hasad is not good. Hasad, a lot of people who are suffering today is because of hasad. A lot of killing are happening because of hasad. A lot of People are in hospital because of hasad. A lot of people are suffering because of hasad. Because hasad brings disease in the body. You don't know that it's hasad. But it's hasad. Wallahi thumma wallah. Even the kuffar knows hasad exists. You'll hear it. some say, this he's full of jealousy. He's jealousy of so-and-so. He's jealous. But alhamdulillah bil Islam. Allah has guided us and Allah has documented us. Hasad in Sunan and in the Quran. Hasad is fully 
documented. We ask Allah to protect us from this disease of hasad. And we ask Allah to protect us from the envy a person. Now, if you have these signs, know that you've been hit by hasad. Overwhelming sadness. Crying for no reason. Dark spots all over the body. Weak in remembering. Weak in concentration. Love isolation. Insomnia during the sleep. Losing the weight extremely. Sweating a lot for absolutely no reason. Even if it's winter. Yawning a lot. Wishing to die. Feeling the body is not yours anymore. Being idle always. Too much fear. This is what hazard brings into the body. Now, how to treat it? You can go to the medics and they will give you tablets. It will help. At the same time, you need to have self ruqya and ruqya. And reading upon yourself is far superior than anything else. Dua ilallah, adhkar morning, evening, five times salah. And read Surah Al-Falaq a lot. And read Surah Al-Fatih a lot in the water, shower with the water. Make sure this water, you make it salty water. And you shower with it. By the will of Allah, you will see victory on your side. And also be wary of those who envy you. Eh? If you know the person envied you, stay away from him while you're doing this treatment. It is very, very important to supplicate for this person or to stay away from him or to tell him to supplicate for you. وآخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين